Last year, astronomers spotted two giant bubbles of radio energy around the Milky Way's central black hole. They hint at a violent past for the Milky Way's heart. A super-sensitive South African telescope detected two giant radio bubbles emanating out of the galactic center. The South African Radio Astronomy Observatory's Meerkat Radio Telescope is an array of 64 dishes spread out over a region 8 kilometers across, near Carnarvon. The completed telescope began taking data in spring 2018. The radio bubbles stretch over a total of 430 parsecs. That's about 5% of the distance between the solar system and the galaxy center. They are a sign of an ancient energetic explosion. Astronomers discovered these gargantuan structures in 2010 while looking toward the center of the galaxy with NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. No one really knows when this galactic bubble-blowing blast occurred, but researchers reported some fresh clues found by looking to the opposite end of the electromagnetic spectrum, at radio waves. The bubbles are gas structures that appear only in X-ray and gamma-ray light. As magnetic fields accelerate them, they produce radio waves. This activity suggests the bubbles are the remnants of an energetic eruption of hot gas several million years ago. One possibility is that a few million years ago, the central supermassive black hole underwent a period of intense matter gobbling that created the outburst. Another could be that an event involving vast amounts of energy, equivalent to the explosion of about a hundred stars, sent matter spewing out of the region around the black hole a few million years ago. The shock waves produced in that event could have created the bubble's radio waves. Scientists say the Milky Way's central black hole can, from time to time, become active flaring up as it periodically devours massive clumps of dust and gas. They suggest it's possible that one such feeding frenzy triggered powerful outbursts that inflated this previously unseen feature. Based on the speed of gas flowing near the bottom of the radio bubbles, the researchers estimated the structures to be about 7 million years old. That aligns with the younger estimates for the ages of the Fermi bubbles, Therefore, it's possible that the two sets of bubbles resulted from the very same cosmic eruption, or at least, the same sort of explosion. The bubbles could solve an old puzzle in radio astronomy. The electrons accelerating inside them could be the source of bright filaments of matter tens of parsecs long that stretch out of the galactic center, first seen in 1984.